Well, hello, Virgos. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgo, I have two different decks that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this one and then a different deck. I've already pre-shuffled and all of that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see what is in store for you here in this reading. Let's get it. This is for Virgo. Let's see. Ooh, Judgment. So Virgo, this could be a reconciliation, some type of phone call or reconciliation here. This is some type, something that's being made known. I see reconciliation with that judgment card. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I do feel like, let me just say it because I know it's only one card. But remember, I can see past it, right? <laughs> I do feel like if there's someone that's going to come in from your past, I feel like you're going to be really excited about it. You're going to be so excited, right? Uh, because for a lot of you, this is someone that you still have this, you know, roaring flame for. And you really, maybe you need clarity or it's something that you may be wanting, okay? And so if someone wants to talk to you or if there's some type of reconciliation, I feel like you guys are going to be open to that. However... I do feel like this person's behavior is going to make you think twice. I kind of feel a double energy. I feel a little funny, funny in this reading. Okay, just telling you. You guys have the emperor. Really good. So for, for some of you, you know, this person, um, this person may have their own business. They could be older. But the emperor really it does talk about someone who can control their own wor world. And I do feel like for a lot of you, this person could have a tendency to, um, you see that this emperor, I just noticed that when I look down, I'm, I've had these cards for so long. Do you notice that he has a chess piece in his hand? So I really do feel like this person will come back in with the not with the sense of trying to control the situation. Like they want to talk to you, they want to be in your presence, but they still are going to need control. And I feel like that is when the funny behavior is going to come in because maybe they're falling too quickly or maybe they have already fallen, but they need to control it. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen that. Here with the five of swords, I feel like they may be frustrated. Maybe they haven't talked to you in a while, um, but they could have a tendency to sabotage this connection. There's something about you that makes them lose control. Maybe they're heartbroken here with the three of swords. I do see, I, I feel like this is your person because they're coming up in your energy more than you. The emperor is here, which is letting me know that this is a lot of their energy. I feel like they are frustrated that they haven't talked to you. I feel like they are pained, but I also feel like because that three of swords is hitting future. I feel like this could end up working out bad for them because I see someone else in your energy, Virgo. The temperance. This is definitely someone from your past here who wants to reconcile. You guys may not have talked in a while. I also see you being the type of person, if you're in a volatile situation with this person, if you are uncomfortable, you know, you can keep a calm head with them because of this sabotaging energy. You're very successful with keeping things smooth and calm and, you know, low temper. Even though I feel like you want to snap off or you will want to, I feel like you're really good with balancing the energies. Um, but I feel like you guys haven't talked in a while. I feel like maybe this break between you both have hurt each other, this non you know, communication, waiting has worn both of you guys out. Eight of Pentacles. This person works a lot here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like this person may have their own business. This person works a lot to not feel what they feel for you, is what I'm saying. And this is going to be what you're going to do in order to kind of control what, you know, how you feel. Remember, you know, all of us have our own lives. It's not just, you know, relationships are, it's just one, one box in our life, right? So it's like, you do the same thing. You know, you have to, you have a life outside your relationship. So this is going to be a good way for you to still have control with working on yourself, with, you know, not with prioritizing yourself. You can, prior, two things could be done at once, right? 
but not losing you. Because the Eight of Pentacles is also hitting that emperor, which talks about your control, okay? And, you know, working on you, keeping your hobbies, your skills up, keeping yourself up, that type of thing. Some of you guys have your own business. Seven of Cups. This person has some a choice to make. I feel like you also will have a decision to make here with the Seven of Cups. You have many different people who are going to be wanting you. I feel this beautiful, sexy energy in your, your energy, um, Virgo. I do feel like there's going to be another person. There's going to be two people or, or more who's going to be really trying to get your attention here. And I feel like you're going to be frustrated. Like, I feel like with you, you're going to kind of be like, what should I do? I don't know what to do. This is future. I really do feel like there's going to be a lot of different decisions that you're going to have to make here. And you're going to be uncertain of what you should do. I also feel this with your person as well. Here with the chariot. Oh my God, there's such a passionate connection coming in here. Now, with this chariot is hitting the three of swords. So this does talk about moving on and moving forward. Now, like I said before, I do feel like someone is going to be coming in here, but there are some funny behaviors here. And if this person is dealing with other people, which is there's other people around that want you, but I also feel like this person is also has other people around. And I feel like they're going to end up possibly missing their opportunity here with you because it's like someone is pained about moving forward. This may even hurt you about moving forward. But I do see that there's going to be moving ahead here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nine of swords. There's going to be some disappointments. There is going to be a reconciliation, but I do feel foolishness in this reading. I do. I feel it. Yeah, three of pentacles, another person here. Someone being uncooperative, but someone is going to be cooperative. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me pull some cards here from this deck. Let's see what's going on. Ten of Pentacles, which is really good. I do see your money. Your money is going to be amazing. This is going to work out really well for you. Um, your stability, the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, that's going to work out really well. Um, a lot of recognition for your work, okay? But I see so much anxiety in other aspects of your life. <clears throat> wow, the Ace of Pentacles. So I don't see it right now, but I do see in the future, I see future marriage, engagement, long-term committed relationship. You could actually go into that right now, but I see marriage in the future, but you can enter into a long-term relationship at this time or within, next, within the next year, that's going to end up in marriage, okay? Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to necessarily be this person who's sabotaging the connection. I don't know if this is going to be the person from the past. I do see that there's going to be new people or other people coming in here. Let's see. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Oh, didn't I just say this Queen of Wands energy? I like the what this Queen of Wands says. It says, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. It says you have several priorities vying for your attention at once. Yeah, because I feel like your work is going to be amazing, your career, and also when it comes down to love. I just see you guys sitting on your throne, being seen. Okay, I just feel I feel that energy. Just, a, just magnetism all over the place. You guys are able to just, whatever you want, you're going to be able to obtain. Even if you don't know it, that's what I'm saying here. King of Swords. There's someone thinking about you with the King of Swords. The Death card, Rebirth. There's going to be endings and there's going to be new beginnings here. Here's the Queen of Wands twice in your reading. I mentioned this before either one of them came out. You guys, this is going to be such a magical time for you. You guys are going to even feel sexy. It's not about what people are doing on the outside of you. This is what you're able to obtain and gain. This just beautiful magnetic energy. It's like you're going to feel so happy. I really do see you, you You focused on your health, focus on your health. It's, and I've been saying this forever. That is what I'm seeing here for you. You guys are, you know, different. You want, you want to look good for yourself. You want to feel good. It's, it's like, a, it is a transformation. You guys have a lot of change here. Some of you guys are going to be transforming your whole look is what I'm saying. Last one, 
four of wands. Then I tell you, you have marriage, future marriage here. So I do see marriage in your reading. I do feel like there are going to be reconciliations. Yes. For some of you, I don't know how far that's going to last, but I do see that there is going to be someone that's going to come into your life here. Someone very intelligent. I do feel, um, but someone who really, I see, I feel a lot of passion here. Someone who really, you know, gives you attention and, you know, they feel, they feel alive around you. That's what I'm saying. So Virgo, this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please hit that uh, like button, that subscribe. And if you guys are interested in joining my membership, you want to hit the join button right next to the subscribe button. If you don't see it, you may have to change your browser. But Virgo, that's what I have for you guys. All right. See you later. Bye.